morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go kill some weeds today. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put uh, over on that pallet over there, there's a little, little sprayer, and I'm gonna put that on the little tractor, and I'm gonna go spray one of the areas. We have a small field that we put in a food plot every year there, so it, it's an annual thing. But I also need to go spray a couple of our other food plots that are um it, it's a it's an every year food plot it, we have roundup ready alfalfa in those food plots and i we just keep it mowed throughout the summer and things like that so i need to go spray that because we have a couple areas that the weed pressure is kind of taken over i'm going to go spray those two spots then I'm gonna go ki kill off a one little area so next week I can go in and rototill it up and plant um, turnips, sugar beets, radishes, uh, clover, chickweed. Uh, there's a bunch of crap that's gonna be planted in that small little field, but I need to get the rototiller off of that tractor, get the sprayer onto that tractor, get the sprayer filled up, and then drive, you get what I'm saying. You know, I just checked the oil in this tractor, um, and I changed this oil three months ago, I think it was, give or take. And we have used this tractor so little this year that the oil is still gold. And you guys know that diesel engines, the oil, doesn't stay gold very long in diesel engines. One thing I do need to do before I put that sprayer on is that sprayer set up for the narrower three-point arms. So these spacers right here, I have to take those spacers out to bring the three-point arms together closer to fit that sprayer, which is not a big deal. It's very easy to do. You pull this pin right here and swing this out of the way and you kind of just wiggle it out and comes right out in theory at least that's the way it's always been before let's see can you guys see okay see piece of cake and then what that does is it narrows up the three point so you can put a smaller implement 
on there. Move it in closer, just like that. All right, so now what I need to do is get the skid steer. Um, I put that sprayer on a pallet because there's only one of me. Um, it's easier to put it on a pallet and use the skid steer to raise the skid steer up, you know, and then I can hook the sprayer up to it, lower the pallet, drop the back the skid steer away, and I don't have to manhandle anything that way. I even turned it on and it works still so that's a good thing how this works is these wings oop, they just flip out like this and then this one flips out hang on sorry guys I'm trying to do this one-handed but anyway that's what the sprayer looks like when it's unfolded not real big big enough for the what we do with it so I need to get this filled, um, do my mad scientist chemistry set going on, and then we will uh, head out to the field. I think this tractor, I need to put some government juice in this tractor, you know, that DEF stuff. But other than that, I'm going to fill this, put some government juice in it, and then we'll head out to the field. All right, we are full of spray. We are almost full of DEF, so let's go kill some weeds. The beans here aren't looking too bad. It's a little thin on the headlands right here, but the middle of the field looks good, other than the drowned it out spots from all the rain. But I'm happy. I'm happy with the spray job. I'm happy with the looks of the beans. Hopefully we'll have a decent crop this year. Let's see what the corn looks like. Corn don't look bad. We're here. Might as well walk out in the field and look at it, huh? This corn don't look bad. I was over at one of our other fields the other day and this corn's not as tall as the other field, but it still looks good. We got ears coming on. I like it. Not bad for first year growing corn in 15 years, I think. So we have this road. It divides. Um, it divides two two fields in this farm that we own here, and. The road is like 30, I want to say it's 34 feet wide, something like that. Our old planters, we were able to work this ground and plant this with our old planters because they were 30 feet wide. The new planters are 40 feet wide, so we were unable to plant this road like we normally do every year. Um, so we're going to turn this into a food plot probably next week or week after whenever I get out here to rototill it and plant it and this winter we're going to widen this road a little bit so I can run through here with the new planters it was kind of one of those things that we didn't really think about it until after we already owned the planters and it was already getting into planting season and I was in this field working it and I kind of did the Oh crap, we are not going to be able to fit down there with the planters. They fit through their fine folded up, just not unfolded in planting mode. So, yeah. It's one of those things that we kind of, we created a project for ourselves. <laughs> I just had an issue with, uh, I had a hose clamp apparently come loose and a blue blew the hose off the end of the nozzle so I was just kind of like blowing a big stream of uh, chemicals just going down on the ground rather than a nice fan 
so I'm hoping I went through and I uh, I pushed it back on and then all of a sudden it blew right back off again so I'm hoping I got it tightened up now I went through and tightened them all and every one of them was loose it's like holy crap but is what it is I guess it seems to be holding now I've got my calibration chart right here for this sprayer and in order to get 10.1 gallons per acre of spray out I need to be traveling 10 miles an hour with these particular nozzles and right now I'm only comfortable driving at 8 miles an hour so that means I'm putting on 12.6 gallons per acre so it's a little little much but I don't think it'll hurt anything at least I hope what a day I uh, I got done spraying and as I was leaving that farm and closing the gates behind me I got a phone call that uh, there was a FedEx truck on the side of the road that needed some assistance so I ended up getting in my truck and heading down and helping them out and I get back to the farm and was on my phone and next thing I know it's five o'clock so oh well tomorrow will definitely be a motorcycle video well tomorrow I'll be filming a motorcycle video you'll see it the next day so, so Saturday, yeah. So you should see it. No, you'll probably see it. I don't know. Hell, you'll see it when you see it. All right, guys. I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching.